decision like once once we decided like we wanted to do a ranch we were like what's the cutest animal that we can own? We got our first ten alpaca in one trip. We uh, we we rented a trailer from somewhere in Denver kind of on the on the way to get them. We were like I guess we should get a trailer. I don't know. Um, and we, uh, we arrived and just started shuffling cute into this trailer. Um, this picture is of little Sebastian. And he was one of our very first babies. Uh, still with us today, and he's just going strong. We've sheared him once. Um, that's like right after shearing is when this picture was taken. And, uh, yeah. Right, he's just... And, yeah, and then we just kind of, that was our philosophy with animals, was like, let's figure out cute, and then figure out how to make money with them. Um, and we really were just going to leave it at ten, but again, we just kind of uh, trusted in people, and uh, kind of believed in people, and we um, had been talking to a couple who was retiring, um, and wanted to give their whole herd away. Um, and that was 72 alpaca. <laughs> and um, we spent four months kind of convincing them that we were the right fit um, to take the whole herd. And we were just kind of blatantly honest with them, you know? It's like, we're a trans haven. We, like, that's what we're doing. Like, we just want to grow and protect trans people and give them good, honest work to thrive with. And a couple of back and forths, and all of a sudden we had 72 alpaca. <laughs> they were, it was a complete gift, and it has also been one of the bigger mistakes of my life. <laughs> we, were, uh, we, we had a half barn and no fencing up. Um, weather conditions were such that 
like there was just no gap between snow, rain, and weirdly sunshine to where we could get a fence up. So three days before we uh, picked up 72 alpaca, we um, we got uh, we got 32,000 linear feet of fence up. Uh, just five trans women and my son. That was, we, uh, we nailed it out and got it all put up, and then we transported these beautiful, cute, uh, adorable animals to our property, um, including 16 Kriya, so 16 baby alpacas. And we were in heaven. Like, it was, you know, um, figuring out what to do from there has just been you know, scrambling. But uh, we then decided, because there wasn't enough chaos, we would get 40 ducks. And <laughs> ducks, um, which, uh, you know, went just about as well as you think. Like, you know, like we, we raised them in the bathtub in the closet and we brought food lamps and just grew little chicks from babies. Um, then we built a coop for both of them and uh, they started producing eggs uh, this summer. We lost 18 chickens to a coyote attack, which was uh, really rough. Um, but all 40 of our ducks are still going strong. In fact, we brought some duck eggs today. If anybody wants to take them home, just go ahead and grab some. Like, we're gonna leave them there. They're amazing, bake with them, they're really good. Um, they are soy free and all that good stuff, organic, so. Um, the, uh, and really, like, you know, we just kind of moved forward from there. Uh, the animals started producing and then we, uh, you know, we hit some kind of hard times uh, going into, after shearing and everything, you know, we were just kind of at a dead end. Um, we didn't know what we were going to do financially. You know, being trans is different in the world. Uh, we learned slowly through trying to do businessy things. Um, we, every time we applied for loans, even though, you know, like all of our criteria were met, we got about a third of what we asked for. Um, but, you know, we're not just the Unicorn Ranch, we're the Tenacious Unicorn Ranch. <laughs> and we made it work. Uh, we put it together through that steadfastly, belie steadfastly believing in each other and in other people. Um, we approached everybody we, we went to with complete trust and just believe, you know, just believing what they were telling us. And you know, we had neighbors come through with hay for the animals and all kinds of really great things. Um, all the way to the point where we put out a call for help on the internet. Um, just like, hey, like, you know, we need help from the community. And a couple in New York uh, found us and um, moved out two weeks later and joined us. And they put up enough money for us to get the uh, fiber process that we had sheared. And um, so now we have yarn and we're selling our yarn and things are going really well. Um, and it's just kind of been this huge adventure of, you know, um, kind of everything sloppily coming together as people do things, you know? Um, and if there's anything that I would say, like, you know, this story has taught me and that I would want to pass on to people, is that if you just put enough love into a room, nothing but good will come out of that. Like, the, the people around you are amazing, every single one of them. And if you just believe in people and trust in that, it's, it literally is magical. Like, it, it always works out. Every single person is amazing. That's all. Okay. <laughs>